So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my Epcot 35th anniversary haul. I went low that time because I always go high, but this time I went low. <laughs> so one of the things about it being fall now is that uh, my time to film is usually in the evenings, which means I get to use my lovely overhead lighting. Hopefully this will be one of the last videos like this because I'm putting box lights on my Christmas list. I'm finally gonna get some dang real lighting so I can film these videos. So bear with me on one last weirdly lit video and hopefully I'll get more profesh for 2018. So I think most of you guys know that I am a huge Epcot fan. It is my favorite of the Disney parks and it has been my nostalgic park since I was a kid. And uh, in fact, so much that I have this tattooed on my leg. So it come as no surprise that when the 35th anniversary merch came out, I needed all of it. There was a whole bunch of merch with that original Epcot symbol that I loved so much. However, the very sad news was that I wasn't going to be able to be there in person for the 35th anniversary. Now I was there for the 30th anniversary and I will put a link up here to my vlog from that day. It was fully in my plan to be there for the 35th anniversary this year. However, I got a new job at the start of the year and I just wasn't gonna be able to take enough vacation time to do the full Horror Nights trip that we usually do, plus be able to attend Brittany's wedding, which was last weekend. So I had to make a sacrifice for my best friend <laughs> and I did not get to go to the 35th anniversary. However, with a combination of having amazing friends who were at the park that day, who offered to get me goodies, plus the Shop Disney app, Shop Parks app, whatever that thing is called, I was able to snag the majority of items that I was looking for. So that's what today is going to be. It's a haul of items that were either gifted to me or purchased for me from friends or purchased myself through the park app. So without further ado, let's get going. So I'm gonna start off with the items that were gifted to me that if you watch my weekly vlogs, you've probably already seen these. But uh, the first items were, of course, the map from the day and this amazing button. I just love the style of them. They're way prettier than the ones that they gave us at the 30th anniversary, I'll tell you that much. So I was so glad that both Kyle and Mary and Carmen and Brian thought of me and got me maps and buttons. And I just absolutely love these. In fact, my favorite ear maker has a pair of ears with this print on it and it's my goal to get a pair of those ears because amazing. So while Kyle and Mary from View From The Cheap Seats were at the event, they offered to get me one of the I Was There pens. So I was able to snag one of these because Mary originally asked me if there was anything that I specifically wanted and there was a pen that had the original logo and some like rainbow look up, pretty much this coming off of it. And I haven't seen anyone purchase it, so maybe they just were really limited items. But they weren't able to get me that one, but they got me this one, which is, I mean, honestly, look at this pen. It's got Figment, it's got Spaceship Earth, it's got Epcot, it's an I Was There pen. It doesn't get much better than that. So I'm thrilled to have this to add to my collection with the items from the 30th anniversary. And then one of the items that I was dying to have, I just kind of give you a preview, was the Magic Band from the 35th anniversary. And this box, I mean, obviously it's got the symbol. It's got another symbol here and with this color scheme, loving the retro 80s vibe here. But then it's even got the original pavilion logos here, which I mean, just the original logos were some of the best graphic design I've ever seen. And it's one of the reasons why I love the park from my memory, is these original logos. So. When you open it up, it's got the magic band. I just love the detail on this. It's a limited edition of 3,500. And I believe they ended up selling quite a bit of them through the week after it was over. But I just love that it has Spaceship Earth on it and it had symbol down here. I love orange, so it just all works out. It's just by far my favorite magic band that I own now and I will not be wearing it to the parks. This one is going to be a collector item here at my house and never be worn in the park so I don't want it to get sweaty and get messed up I just love it that much that it's gonna be my prized possession so thanks to Brian and Carmen for picking this up for me specifically Brian for running across the park in the September heat or October heat I guess it would have been in order to get this for me because I'm so glad to have it and I would not have gotten it otherwise so 
big thanks to them. So right before the anniversary, I was actually at Disney. I had a September Disney trip, which will be coming out on this channel uh, probably starting in January. And during that trip, I was crossing my fingers that some of the merchandise was gonna go out a little early, and lo and behold, it did. So I was able to get a few items in person myself. So let's go through those. So the first items I snagged myself while I was at the parks were this beautiful shirt with my favorite logo. It actually looks like the Magic Band box. It's very pretty. Again, just love, love the material they're doing on the shirts these days. This one actually looks like it's gonna fit. I haven't tried it on yet, but I think it's gonna fit pretty well and I just love the logo. Very retro. Then I was also able to snag this shirt, which they had a matching pin, but I did not get that, with Spaceship Earth, 35th Epcot. I was double checking to make sure I didn't have anything on the sleeves, but nothing on the sleeves on this one, just that. But I do enjoy having a long sleeve shirt for a change. This one is going to be a little on the bigger side for me, but it's gonna be definitely a around the house winter favorite. I also snagged this Epcot 35th ornament, which I might be my favorite ornament that I own now. I'm so excited to get to have this on my Christmas tree. <laughs> And it's got Epcot 35 on the back, but yeah, it's, it's all about that right there. Just getting to have my favorite symbol on my tree makes me very excited. So I believe the final item that I picked up while I was there was the Epcot 35th Alex and Ani. I'll zoom in for you because I know you're not seeing it there. I know you're not seeing it. This was an insta buy. Once I saw this come online, I knew I was going to buy this. And so pretty much the first thing I did when I got to Epcot during that September trip was go straight to Mouse Gears for this, because this was already out by that point. The 35th in merchandise didn't come out until my last day of my trip, but this one was already out. So I've already been wearing it. I just, I just love it. Everything that has that symbol, I need to own. So <laughs> this is perfect. So once I got back home, I started scouring the Shop Parks app, hoping the 35th anniversary merchandise was gonna come out. And let me tell you, they made me wait. I thought for sure it was gonna come out the day of the event, maybe the day after the event, but we had to wait quite a bit. However, the first item that came available was the Figment Pop. Pop Funko, Funko Pop, whichever way you say it. This guy. I got a message that they were on sale, and it was like the first thing I saw when I woke up. So I went straight into the Shop Parks app, purchased mine, then went to Twitter to a couple of the people that I knew that were searching for them, tweeted them about it, and they were already gone. So I think they were only available for about five minutes on the app, but I was able to snag him and I'm thrilled because I did not think there was any chance I was gonna get him. So he is super cute and again, his box has the 35th logo on it and I just, you guys know, I, I don't know, can you see my Figment ears back there? Figment is my favorite Disney character. So anything Figment I need in my life. So love him. So finally, after like a week, I don't know, two weeks, the rest of the merchandise came on the app and Carmen actually messaged me because the Figment backpack went on the app and so I thought I was done. I was told myself I wasn't gonna order any more things aside from like the sweatshirt and a few other things I wanted, which you're gonna see in a moment. However, she let me know that with the annual pass discount, the bag went from 75? Yeah, it went from $75 to $60. So for $60, I felt like it was worth it. Plus I was gonna get free shipping through everything else I was ordering. So I have the Figment backpack. So I've never actually purchased one of the limited edition Disney bags before. I've gotten one of the Vera Bradley ones, but never anything. And I know this isn't like an expensive one. This isn't like a Duty and Burke or anything. It's $60. But even then I'm usually, um, I usually buy my purses at Target. So I'm very fancy, but it's Figment. So even though it's not normally my like typical style, purple is my favorite color, it's Figment. And then the thing that really sold me on this, which I'll film for you guys, but of course it has the original Epcot logo in the interior. So that pretty much sold me on needing this. I don't know if I will use this as a parks bag because I don't want it to get ruined, but it was just too cute to pass up and it has the Epcot 35th there on the top again. So loved it. Thanks both uh, sarcastically and legitimately <laughs> to Carmen for letting me know that it was on the app because I'm really glad I have it even though she made me spend more money than I was trying to spend. 
So I also got the Epcot 35th Magnet, which I guess I can take out of the bag for you. This is one of the items I was really hoping to get, so I'm very glad they put it online. Happy to have this on my fridge to see every single day. And this item will likely be a decoration you see in my office very soon. I guess I'll take this one out of the bag as well. And that is the Figment pennant set. So here's the pennant, which will definitely be hanging in my office very soon. I need to find a space for it. I'm not quite, ooh, maybe, I don't know. I gotta figure that out, but he's definitely gonna be displayed in my office here for the future. And it also came with the Epcot 35 bumper sticker and the Figment 35th anniversary button. So I forget how much this was, but this was like, this was really affordable. I want to think it was like $12 or something, which I thought was a really good deal for this. And really, I just wanted to have this hanging in my office. So worth it. So we're coming down to the final items here. This one, this one is actually getting returned and hopefully just an exchange. I had a really hard time picking between the sweatshirts because I liked, there was one that was navy blue that had the Epcot 35 on it. But ultimately I chose this one. It's a sweatshirt with the original logo on it, of course. However, I'm gonna have to film it farther away so you can see, but the logo on mine, I guess you can kind of tell even with me just putting it up against my body. The logo should be like right here. It's way over here. It looks really weird once you put it on. Like you can, I think even in the camera, you can tell like it's not lined up where it's supposed to be. So I sent them pictures and they've sent me a new UPS label. So I'm gonna ship this one back and exchange it. And hopefully they're not sold out. I don't think they are, but hopefully not because it's really comfortable. I put it on and I was like, oh, I love it. And I looked in the mirror, I was like, no, why? So uh, my OCD will not let me walk around with a logo that's completely crooked. So that one is getting returned, but hopefully coming back to me soon. So that brings us to the final items, and that is I got two boxes of the mystery pens. Now, random neighbor kid, okay. I already opened this packet of them so I can show you what I got. But the other box, I have not opened, and I'm gonna open here live, live for you guys. So. Let me show you. So for the first box, I received the Wonders of Life Pavilion. And then I know there's gonna be some people jealous about this one. I got Horizons. All right, so now it's time to open this other one. Obviously, I would love the land. I would love imagination. I would love the living seas. I would love Spaceship Earth. Is there, I mean, I wouldn't mind World of Motion. I didn't really want the Wonders of Life one. That one's, I don't even remember really going in the pavilion as a kid because I wasn't, as a kid I was afraid of simulators and so I don't think my parents even took me into that one because they like, they knew. I'd been traumatized on Back to the Future at Universal and so they knew better than to try to take me on Wonders of Life in that whole area. So, was it Body Wars? Yeah, my parents knew better than to try that one. So, I don't even remember doing that. So, the Wonders of Life pavilion pen might go into a giveaway in the future. The worst case scenario will be getting repeats, so let's hope for no repeats. And here we go. Here's number one. What's it gonna be? I got thrown off. It's World of Motion. I saw the same and I was like, oh no, it's blue. I thought it was gonna be Horizons again, but it is a World of Motion. All right. I opened that really quickly. Let's see. Nervous. Spaceship Earth, Spaceship Earth, Spaceship Earth. Very, very exciting. Look at those. Look at that gator color. <laughs> Some gator color pens if I've ever seen them. So it was meant to be. I'm a little sad because I would have loved, if you watch my vlogs, you know I go to the land and imagination all the time. So um, this one's by far my favorite. However, land and imagination were like right there on wants and living seas right after that and I got pretty much everything else that you could get except for those. So don't get me wrong, I I have huge amount of appreciation for both of these, so don't get me wrong. It's just my personal memories come from imagination and the land. Um, however, these are both great attractions. Very happy with these. So that is the end of my Epcot 35th haul. So that's all the goodies that I let myself purchase. Trust me, if I were a rich person, 
I would have had everything because I loved it all and these anniversaries always make me so excited to be an Epcot fan and I always look forward to them so now we've got another five years until the 40th anniversary. I don't even want to think about how old I'm going to be during the 40th anniversary but definitely going to be there. I just flipped my hair but I'm definitely going to be there. I'm saying now five years from now I'm going to be there for the anniversary because I was so sad to miss it this time. Happy to get to live it through friends who I know vlogged it while they were there, so I got to watch some of those. I'm sure Carmen and Brian are gonna have a vlog in the future all about it. At least I get to rep my Epcot pride through all of this amazing merch that I purchased. So that's gonna be it for my Epcot 35th haul and the vlog today. Uh, thanks for being patient with me through the month of November while I just kind of gear up for Vlogmas. I do have a schedule of videos planned for the Mondays and Fridays for the rest of this month. So there should be videos every Monday and Friday. But if you're a Disney fan who subscribed to my channel and you're like, this is only Halloween and weirdness, don't worry, there's more Disney coming in January. That's when I'm going to kick off my September trip for everyone else. Thanks for hanging out and doing weekly vlogs with me, and I hope you're excited for Vlogmas. I've got some plans in the works, uh, just kind of continuing some traditions that we started last year, some new things this year. It's gonna be a little interesting because I have the full-time job now, so I've gotta be creative on how I'm gonna daily vlog during this, but getting all rested right now, taking a little break from weekly vlogging and enjoying getting excited and pumped for Vlogmas. So I will see you guys again on Monday. I have kind of a fun and different video planned for then. Hope you'll join me. If you enjoyed this haul and you wanna see more in the future, make sure you subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I love you guys and I will see you guys again soon.